a new YouTube video featuring a farmer who lives off the grid in rural Kentucky reveals his incredibly simple existence and how he is looking for love. For eight years, Titus Morris has lived in a remote area of the Appalachian Mountains without any amenities like power, running water, a phone, a car, or even shoes in the summer. Titus describes his daily activities in an hour-long documentary created by YouTuber Peter Sontanello, including cultivating potatoes, washing clothes in the nearby river, and caring for his horses. He says at one point that he spends about $140 per month and earns a meager living by training and shoeing horses. His monthly expenses also include $90 for a landline phone that he built in a shed outside of his trailer home so he could share it with a neighbor. Then, he spends about $30 a month on items he can't cultivate, like bananas and Himalayan salt, and around $20 a month on food for his dogs Sadie and Spartacus. Titus kept up his simple lifestyle after growing up in a very religious home. While his parents have a computer and power, he chose to go even more primitive. He claims that although he does not adhere to their faith and instead practices genuine Christianity, he lives in a manner like to that of the Amish society. He lacks a legitimate ID, which furthers the mystique. When he was a kid, his parents acquired him a social security number, but he never signed it and subsequently opted to cancel it. Then, a flood destroyed his birth certificate, and he never obtained a driver's license. I don't exist in the eyes of the government but I do exist in the lives of individuals who know me and my Father in heaven, he tells the audience. Titus' residence is a 50-acre property, of which around 20 acres are open grassland and the remaining 30 acres are woods. The outdoorsman offers viewers a brief tour of his modest house at the start of the video. He says that because a buddy has been living with him, everything is a little dirty. There is a kitchen, a dining area, and a sleeping section in the open plan house. Although a typical kitchen is erected, none of the appliances are functional, and Titus turned off the electricity before moving in. It becomes too hot inside during the summer, so he prefers to cook on his front porch using a wood-burning stove. Titus does not consume any meat, and he never had dairy or egg products as a child in accordance with his religious views. He demonstrates to filmmaker Peter one of his favorite dishes, which includes kale, red potatoes, and purple onions with a dash of pink Himalayan salt for flavor. He claims that eating a plant-based diet has not affected his athletic ability, and he shows this throughout the video by doing anything from climbing trees to rolling off his horse backwards to ascending a rope onto his bonds loft. In addition, Titus claims that he is normally in good health and that this year has been free of any illnesses, not even a stuffy nose. My thought is to eat lots of healthy food, breathe deeply in fresh air, try to see God, get exercise, and do things that strengthen your immune system so that your immune system is strong enough, he says. Small outhouse serves as the bathroom, 
and Titus built a dam in the stream to provide a bathing area with deeper water. This is good in the summer, but it can get a little cold in the winter. Titus begins wearing shoes once more when the weather cools because he claims that being barefoot in the cold is not healthy. Titus acknowledges that there are a few things that would be helpful even if he is comfortable on his farm. In the beginning, he claims that having a refrigerator would be handy, as he presently keeps his items cool in the stream. I can put things in the stream, and they will keep overnight, he says. For instance, if I have some leftover beans or whatever else, I can place a pot in the stream, and it will keep them fresh overnight. However, Titus would much rather have a life partner than a refrigerator. The only thing I believe I'm truly missing is someone to share this life with me and my kids, he thinks as he travels in his horse and carriage, which he uses in place of a car. In an effort to find love, Titus has provided viewers with his landline, which is 6064484252. He claims it is doubtful he would answer, and that it would be best to leave a voicemail, as he is typically out working the property. He describes his secluded property thus. I wake up in the morning, and there's a green hill on that side, and there's a green hill on that side, and I just have my own little peaceful valley here as an added allure to any possible love partners.